Hey, happy Valentine's Day. I hope your week has gone well and I hope you have a great week coming up. I wanted to share a quick verse with you about how we as believers need to love our friends and love others. Of course, Matthew tells us that we've got to love others like we love ourselves. Love your neighbor like you love yourself. It's amazing how the world would change if we just learn what real biblical 1 Corinthians 13 love is, including loving in truth. But there's a friendship I want to talk to you about real quick between a guy named David and a guy named Jonathan. Now, Jonathan had every right to be upset at David, every right to be jealous of him, every right to, to not even talk to him. Because Jonathan's dad, Saul, who was the king, wanted him killed. And rightfully, Jonathan could have been the next king, being the son of the king. But David, if you know the story, beats Goliath. Everybody starts cheering his name. He really is truly a man after God's own heart. But God arranged for David and Jonathan to be very, very good friends. They were so better than brothers, is what the Bible says. There's a verse in Proverbs 17, verse 17. It says, a friend loves at all times. And a brother is born for a time of adversity. It's amazing when we can have just one or two solid friends that we know that will always have our back, no matter what. But I want to make sure that we're a friend like that to someone else, to be a Jonathan to a David, to be there to always, no matter what, to be there for them, to share with them, to, to uh, help them go through tough times, to help them go through good times. But after all was said and done, Jonathan did something very, very courageous for David. Even though Jonathan could have been killed by the king, his dad, he stayed true to that relationship, that brotherhood with David. And here's what it says in 1 Samuel 23. It says, And Jonathan's, or, and Jonathan, Saul's son, arose and went to David into the woods and strengthened his hand in God. Jonathan found David. Even after David left, he had to leave Saul because Saul was ready to kill him. He risked his life, Jonathan did, to go make sure that he was there for a friend. We've got to do that as believers. We've got to have friends like that as believers. I want to encourage you this Valentine's Day to love others like we love ourselves. God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.